Thank you very much for joining in. Today I am going to show you three methods to fade camera obstacles. The first method is to use a default special material. That's right, no code needed at all. For the second method we use a custom shader effect, but don't worry, it will be very simple and short. And the third method involves using constructive solid geometry, more commonly known as boolean operations. So let's have at it. I have this simple scene set up, which is just a wall on a player, and when we move around everything is ok until we want to go behind a wall, because our camera can see us there. That's a pretty common problem with 3D environments, so to solve this we could set up a material to fade when our player goes behind it. The first method is pretty straightforward. We create a spatial material, and inside the properties we go all the way to the bottom, where we can find the distance fade property, and instead of disabled, we select the pixel alpha option. And that's it, problem solved. The way this works is that the fade depends on how far the object is from the rendering camera, and you can play around with the minimum and maximum values to have different effects. Let's place our player behind a wall and test how this looks. Yep, you see? The closer you are to the camera, the more transparent the material becomes, and vice versa. Ok, let's try a different method now. I have here a custom shader material, but don't worry, it's very simple, it's just 5 lines of code, but you can get away only with these 3 from here, the other 2 are used for aesthetic purposes. We can see that if we get close, nothing happens, but when we move our fade value, whoop, the wall dissolves and now we can see through it, perfect. What I'm doing is just sampling a noise texture and a gradient, I combine them both and apply it to the alpha value. The only downside for this is that you will need to set up a GD script to control the fade value, but that will be it. By the way, you can google the term dissolve shader and you will find a ton of results describing how it works. Again, it's really simple. Finally, for our third method we will use a CSG combiner node. We have a wall on a sphere set up to the subtraction operation. And that's it! Again, no code needed. Awesome! Now, when we get near the wall, the shape is being recalculated so we can see behind it. Let's test this out in play mode so you see this works not only in the editor but also at runtime. Nice! So there you have it, 3 ways you can use to see behind walls. I hope you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons and please let me know in the comments if you like this new flash format. Bye!